Burzins Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Aldous Burzins, head coach of the men's volleyball team. Coach, you guys get to play another game at home. Unfortunately, not the result you're looking for against Stevens, but some still positive outcomes, some positivity to come out of that game. Yeah. Yeah, Stevens was uh, top four in the nation, and uh, it was a good uh, measuring stick for us. Um, I'd say we lost... 03, but there were some nice individual performances, in particular by our captain, uh, Nate Ellis, in the middle, was pretty much unstoppable. And uh, and then Derek, our freshman libero, uh, played up to that level. Um, he dug a lot of balls and you know passed really great. Uh, but <laughs> it's kind of the in-between. Um, we didn't play as consistent as I would have liked. Uh, we played well in spurts, but uh, not good enough to really compete uh, against that team. And, you know, the the positive thing coming out of this is you know, now you guys have a lot of rest before mm -hmm. your uh, next match on the 24th of this month. Uh, you're going to need it. You got, you're got you a little banged up as it is. Yeah, we, um, Nate, that was the first time Nate Ellis, who I mentioned, could play all around. Um, he's... He had a bit a sprained uh, thumb, and uh, Mike was coming off the flu, our outside hitter. He was pretty much just ramping up to game speed. And, uh, yeah, it's been um, – I think rest is good, too. It should be part of the program. So we're going to take off for spring break. They've been going at it really hard since January uh, with no days off, really. And uh, – um, and so we have an alumni game this Thursday, which should be fun uh, for the guys to just relax and uh, beat up on those older guys. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, take off for spring break and come back with a week of practice before we um, uh, start the second half of the conference play. When you guys do come back, it's going to be somewhat of a gauntlet. You guys are going to be into conference schedule, and but getting to play a lot of them at home. Yeah. Yeah, especially the the higher ranked teams at home this the, in the second half. Although um, I I don't know if the home court I heard was an advantage. It didn't seem to be against Stevens, and we actually played our best match away at Juniata uh, of the year, which was a couple weeks ago. So uh, I don't I don't think you know the guys are thinking anymore that the home court is some kind of a magic uh, place to be. You know and. Uh, Although it does help, you know, when, when the fans are, are uh, screaming for you. But we need more fans. <laughs> I think our guys play better when, uh, you know, in a loud gym. And uh, so hopefully, uh, yeah, when we have our, our home matches against Marymount and EMU and Juniata, the top teams in our conference, will fill up the Owings Mills gym. And as it sits, you guys are pretty much at the middle of your, uh, your schedule. How do you feel about how the first half of the season went for you? Well, this is my first time around, so I, I'm really satisfied. We're 4-2, and two, and our goal is to win our conference, and that's definitely doable. We went uh, five games against Marymount and EMU. You know, Fifth games didn't go our way, but we did beat Juniata. And those guys have been – all those teams have been playing well. I, I don't want to overlook Karn, <laughs> Rutgers, and Alvernia – uh e either um they they've been uh all, all you know taking sets off of teams and if you can do that you, you never know on a given night you can upset anybody that is definitely true especially in a sport like men's volleyball that's right well, lots of mo okay well coach thank you for your time this <laughs> week and enjoy this break and uh we'll be back at it on the 24th thanks a lot he's all dispersions i'm joe wamba and this has been the all dispersions show <laughs>